You have already learned about the number line from basic mathematics class. It is a continuous line, normally drawn from left to right, marked into uniform length divisions. Each division represents a unit number, normally one. A certain point on this line is known as the origin, since it represents the number zero. Positive numbers such as one, two, three, etc., are represented to the right of the origin, while negative numbers such as negative one, negative two, negative three, etc., are represented to the left of the origin. This continuous line has no beginning or end; it extends to the right, approaching positive infinity, and extends to the left, approaching negative infinity. Any real number, no matter how big, how small, rational or irrational, can all be represented on the number line. For example, 3.6 is here, negative 10 over 3 is here, and the square root of 17 is here. Also, judging from the position of these numbers on the number line, you can tell the order of the numbers. Since they always increase from left to right, so you can easily visualize from the number line that negative 10 over 3 is smaller than 0, smaller than 3.6, and smaller than square root of 17. Now let's look at the rectangular coordinate system. If we take this horizontal number line from the previous slide, and then draw another vertical number line. And make them intersect with each other at their respective origins. Now we have gone from one dimension to two dimensions, since these two number lines now define a plane. This is known as the rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian plane. It is similar to the number line since it is also a tool to help us visualize mathematical concepts. But having gone from 1D to 2D. It has greatly extended the ability to help us study not only math, physics, but other subjects as well. The horizontal number line is known as the x-axis, and the vertical number line is known as the y-axis. The two lines divide the plane into four regions, and following a counterclockwise direction, these four regions are known as quadrant one, quadrant two. Quadrant three and quadrant four. The horizontal number line, the x-axis, is scaled the same way as before. The origin still represents zero, and then from left to right, numbers increase from negative to positive. The vertical number line, the y-axis, has the same origin that represents zero, and from bottom to top, numbers increase from negative to positive. Using this Cartesian plane, any point on this plane can now be represented by a pair of ordered numbers x and y. X is known as the x-coordinate, and it marks the position in relation to the y-axis, or the location along the x-axis. Y is known as the y-coordinate, and it marks the position in relation to the x-axis. Or the location along the y-axis. Therefore, this point can be represented by the ordered number pair three four. The x-coordinate three represents the location is three units to the right of the y-axis, and the y-coordinate four represents the location is four units. Above the x-axis, just like with the number line, the coordinates here could also be any real numbers, big or small, positive or negative or zero, rational or irrational. Here are a couple of examples. For the first point, the x-coordinate is zero, which tells you that the point is on the y-axis. Y coordinate is two, which tells you that the position is two units above the x-axis. For the second point, 
The x coordinate negative 10 over 3 tells you that the point is to the left of the y axis, and the y coordinate 2.5 tells you the point is above the x axis. For the third point, x coordinate 2 square root of 2 tells you that the point is to the right of the y axis, and the y coordinate negative 6 over 7 tells you that the point is below the x axis. For the fourth point, the x coordinate tells you that the point is to the left to the y axis, and the y coordinate tells you that the point is below the x axis. Now we have reviewed the number line, introduced the rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian plane, learned how to represent points on the Cartesian plane. Please answer the following questions.